bro major update on the switch pro you gotta stay tuned oh it's gonna be good ob1 plays yes right what's up all Hello, right one plays Everybody, how are y'all doing while I pet my dinosaur? You know what you need to do? Give the video a thumbs up. That's right, like, like, like the video. We have breaking developments on the Switch Pro information, aka Super Switch. This is coming from comicbook.com. And the newest rumor comes the way of a couple of verified insiders on Reset Era. And so these aren't just random dudes. These are people that their information has been verified through their process who say the Nintendo Switch is a PS4 with DLSS and a better CPU. Now, the first, the first thing when I heard this leak, the first thing I thought of, the PS4 was able to pump out games that looked like this. Ghost of Tsushima, arguably one of the best looking games last generation, looks better, no cap, than some of these next gen games. Art style developer talent goes a long way, and according to this rumor, a PS4 with DLSS, I talked about that before, and a better CPU than the PS4. Now, this gives us a hint on what to expect. According to the article, it won't take Nintendo gaming to quite to the PS5 and Xbox Series X level, but according to this rumor, this is, this is pretty big, it's going to be somewhere between next gen and the last gen, so in between a PS4 and PS5 type levels. Now, according to this article, it sounds like a pretty big upgrade. This is gonna be a big upgrade for Nintendo. Partially because the new model is more than just a Nintendo Switch Lite level revision, and rather more like what the Wii U was to the Wii. And we all know that was a big leap. The Wii U was Nintendo's first time into HD. A big leap from the Wii, according to this um, um, leak. All right, they're also saying there will be a new gimmick with this new Switch, Super Switch, Switch Pro that there's going to be a new gimmick that Nintendo will incorporate into this system. What was the gimmick last um, with the Switch? Take out the dock, detachable Joy-Cons, which really gimmick has gotten a negative connotation. This was a gimmick, but it was actually practical and it worked. Um, having to be able to, um, um, this hybrid design with the detachable Joy-Cons. So, all right. They're also saying that it is targeting 4K resolution and would probably only be for when it's docked. Now, finally, the leakers mention a 2022 release window and Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 may release alongside it. And so, this is what they're saying concerning the Switch Pro, Switch 2, new, because... 2022 will be a five-year time period between the Switch and <coughs> Nintendo. Typically, their console generations go for five years, typically, in the past. And so, it looks like we're going to get a pretty big upgrade with the Switch Pro, bro. All right, we have a couple more dope news items. The next one Nintendo's global president, Shantaru Furukawa, he was interviewed 
the same interview by Nikkei that I talked about before, but more information. This time, he's talking about how he was influenced by former presidents Yamauchi and Iwata. So let's check this out. This is what he says. <coughs> Regrettably, I never spoke directly with Mr. Yamauchi. However, I've heard all about Yamauchi's philo philosophy from Iwata and his successor, Mr. Kimishima, at management policy briefings. I say entertainment is valuable because it's different to other things we do in life. But these are Yamauchi's words. He laid out a universal way of thinking for us, which is the foundation of the current Nintendo. This is what he continues to say. Mr. Iwata took over that and left a lot of people in the company who could take initiative and think for themselves. I had many opportunities to work with Mr. Iwata when I was assigned overseas and I learned a lot by consulting with him and getting guidance from abroad. This is what he continues to say. They ask, what did you learn from Iwata? This is the last thing. I learned all sorts of things from Mr. Iwata, but it's best I refrain from mentioning specifics. He didn't like the fact there are people still at Nintendo who say, I learned from this, I learned this from Mr. Iwata. We're confident that Iwata himself wouldn't approve of that. So that's why we keep that close to our heart. So it's good to see his reflection, how he was influenced by pre, um, previous presidents. I thought it was interesting worth sharing. Bro, <laughs> this next news item has me hyped and I am gonna be buying this game now. Turok 2 remastered for the switch has now received online multiplayer that's right out of nowhere this is coming from nintendoeverything.com out of nowhere turok 2 seeds of evil was updated on the switch this week's and it's a pretty big feature on support for online multiplayer all right and so now switch users can go up against each other and Crossplay is supported right now switch and ps4 can go up against each other and pc and xbox will be added later bro right after this video i'm gonna be um, downloading to rock i'm gonna try it out tonight see if it's good if it's good i'll suggest it recommend it to the sponsors we can get some to rock too on the switch popping all right and so i thought this was pretty dope bro and Last news item for this video, another Switch game release date, WRC9. This was announced for the Switch a while ago, but now we have a release date, March 11th. March 11th is when the game comes out for the Switch. I will be giving this game a second look. Um, I like, I love Dirt. I like off-road racing games. I want to see how the online multiplayer is in this. Or is it just solo and you're comparing race times? I want to see. But WRC9, a release date is March 11th. March is becoming pretty packed for the Switch. All right, dudes. Those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. I forgot to do my, I did my bro, but I resetted my software again. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date all things. Then, to the we out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.